Hey, future Gen X family, uh, if you've ever daydreamed about soaring above cityscapes, skipping that unbearable ground traffic, then today's your lucky day. If this kind of sky-high fantasy tickles your fancy, don't be shy. Hit that like button, drop a comment about your dream destination, and smash that subscribe button. Let's get those notifications ringing. The dream of soaring skies. All right, on to the real deal. Picture yourself cruising above skyscrapers with a world unfolding beneath you. Not in a plane, but in your very own car. Seems like a scene straight out of the Jetsons, right? Well, it might just be our future thanks to the announcement of the world's first flying electric vehicle, Ebbids. Hold on to your flying hats, folks. This isn't just about having wings on wheels. This is a game changer. Imagine cutting down your two-hour traffic-infested commute to just a breezy 15-minute flight. But wait, before we start choosing our in-flight playlists, let's ground ourselves for a moment. How did we even get here? Electric vehicles in heavens? You know those silent cars that sneak up on you in parking lot? Have been around for a while, they promised and delivered a future less dependent on fossil fuels. But the wizards of transportation weren't satisfied with just ruling the roads. They looked up, way up, combining the quiet efficiency of Yves with a thrill of flight. These brainiacs have crafted something that's part car, part plane, and entirely awesome. The tech behind it. Oh, it's nothing short of magical. This flying EV is designed for vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL if you want to get fancy. That means no runways, no massive airports, just clear skies and open terraces. Maybe this could revolutionize the way we design our cities. Forget parking lots. We might need landing pads. But all right, humor me here. How many times have you groaned at the sound of a loud vehicle, be it a revving motorbike or a growling truck? Now imagine hundreds of cars buzzing in the sky. Sounds chaotic. Fear not. These flying EVs claim to have a soft hum thanks to their electric propulsion. Plus, let's not forget the zero emissions. So, while they're soaring in the skies, they're keeping the Earth green. Talk about a win-win. By now, some skeptics among you might be saying, all right, future Gunix, this all sounds too good to be true. And to you, I say maybe it is. Or maybe it isn't. We're only scratching the surface of this high-flying subject. One curious about what makes this flying contraption tick, wondering if this will be the new Uber or just a sky-high fantasy for the Uber rich. Stick around, because we're just getting started. Don't forget to share your thoughts below. The skies ain't big enough for all of us. All right, future travel enthusiasts. We've marveled at the promise of these flying eaves, but now it's time to dive a bit deeper and ask some tough questions. And firstly, air traffic. We've all been on a busy road, right? Horns honking, drivers overtaking, and that one guy who thinks it's a racetrack. Now, elevate that chaos a few hundred meters into the air. Intimidating, huh? While our flying EV is a breakthrough, the skies aren't exactly uncharted territory. Planes, drones, helicopters is... We've already got quite the aerial party going on. Adding flying cars into the mix means we need some serious air traffic management. Then there's the big R word. Regulations ground vehicles follow a set of rules, traffic light speed limits, and zebra crossings. But in the sky, that's a whole new ball game. And as excited as we are about the possibility of zooming over treetops, the fact remains that regulatory bodies will have to set some ground for, should I say, Sky? The rules. How high can these EVs go? What happens in case of malfunctions? What's the aerial equivalent of a driver's license? Speaking of malfunctions, that leads us to safety protocols. On the road, a vehicle breakdown means pulling over to the side and calling for help. In the air, there's no side to pull over to. Plus, remember when your phone's battery died on you that one time. Imagine if that was your flying EV. Yeah. Not a fun thought. Engineers and designers are working overtime to ensure that safety is a priority. Think multiple fail safes, emergency landing tech, and maybe even parachutes. One can dream. Well, on the topic of dreams, let's talk about public acceptance. We humans, as much as we love new tech, can be a skeptical bunch. Remember when electric scooters hit the streets? The divided opinions now multiply that sentiment for something as game-changing as a flying EV. For every person eagerly waiting to get their hands on the steering, or flying wheel, there's another raising an eyebrow and asking, is this even a good idea? And we can't ignore the potential environmental impact. Sure, we're looking at zero emissions from the vehicle itself, which is fantastic for our fight against climate change. But consider the infrastructure, building takeoff and landing spots, charging stations hovering in the sky, and possibly restructuring entire cities to accommodate this new mode of transport. It's going to be a significant shift, and every change has its consequences. Lastly, let's get a bit cheeky. What about bird traffic? Our feathered friends have been ruling the skies way before we even thought of joining them. With flying EVs in the picture, we might just become uninvited guests in their territory. Could there be a future with traffic rules for birds and humans? The thought alone is enough to tickle one's imagination. But don't let these challenges deter you. 
every giant leap for mankind comes with its own set of hur hurdles. As we soar towards this aerial dream, it's essential to ask questions, seek answers, and always be prepared. Ready to know how close we are to actually buying these bad boys. Hang tight, we're about to explore the commercial viability, costs, and the final frontier of the flying EV saga. Keep those comments coming in next, the price of sky-high dreams. So we've geeked out over the technology and navigated through potential challenges, but let's tackle an even more pressing issue. If you're having a day of a moment, yep, it's that time. Dive deep, hit those notification bells, and let's see what's in store for us and end our wallets with these new flying wonders. All right, let's not kid ourselves. Whenever cutting-edge technology makes its debut, it's rarely priced for the average Joe. Early adopters of the first mobile phones or electric cars can testify to this. So when we talk about a vehicle that can defy gravity, well, expect some jaw-dropping price tags initially. But remember how expensive those first-generation flat-screen TVs were. Fast forward, and almost everyone's binge-watching on them. The power play. Charging these bad boys is a game changer. Traditional gas stations will seem so last century. Think of futuristic charging hubs, perhaps even mid-air charging stations or rapid ground chargers. However, setting up this infrastructure won't be cheap. And while the vehicle might promise zero emissions, we must consider where that electricity is coming from. Green energy sourcing will play a pivotal role in ensuring these vehicles are truly eco-friendly. The maintenance maze. We grumble about our regular car services, but maintaining a flying EV is bound to be a tad more intricate. With more moving parts and sophisticated tech, you can't just take it to any garage. Specialized service centers might be sparse initially, and their services might cost a pretty penny. But as with all technology, increased adoption should eventually drive prices down. Insurance implications. Oh, the age-old question. To insure or not to insure, when it comes to these flying marvels, insurance isn't just recommended, it's essential. But expect insurers to be scratching their heads, trying to calculate premiums for a vehicle type they've never encountered. Accidents in the sky could have different implications than those on the ground, after all. Resale riddles. Like any vehicle, flying eaves will eventually age and owners might look to upgrade or sell. The second-hand market for such a novel form of transport is uncharted territory. Will these vehicles retain their value? Or will rapid tech advancements render older models obsolete faster than we anticipate? community costs. Beyond the individual owner, cities and communities will face expenses. Adapting urban landscapes to accommodate flying eaves, training emergency services for aerial incidents, and updating public services to this new reality will come at a price. How this cost will be distributed through taxes, levies, or other means uh, remains to be seen. Yet with all these factors, the allure of the flying eave is undeniable. Picture waking up, sipping your morning coffee, and watching these vehicles glide gracefully above, knowing that you could be one of those pioneers navigating the skyways. So as we wrap up this exhilarating journey of discovery, remember that every innovation has its bumps and curves, but with passion, vision, and a bit of patience, the skies might just be our next highway. What do you think? Are you saving up for your first flying EV, or are you a bit skeptical? Either way, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this flight of fancy, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the future. Safe travels, whether on land or in the air, and see you in the next one.